Yo, what's up my boys and girls? Today we're going to be talking about the do while loop. Now this is very similar to the while loop. The only thing is it's more, uh, uh, what's the word, Com compulsive. It's kind of like me when I go to the store, I'll go in there, I'll buy something, and then try to figure out if it was a good idea after the fact. All right, so the do while loop is going to do something, and then it'll have the condition on whether or not it should continue to do it. You know, so it goes in there, buys a $350 pair of headphones. <laughs> I tried doing that this week, and my wife was like, nope. <laughs> and then it's like, you know, let me do my budget. Oh, I should probably stop. <laughs> Such a terrible explanation, but I'm gonna go with it. You know what you shouldn't stop, though? <laughs> You definitely shouldn't stop preparing for technical interviews. Technical interviews are the most feared thing in technology, and it doesn't have to be the case. Prepare yourself by going to my sponsor, Pramp. When you sign up for Pramp, you know what happens? You get paired with another person who's going to criticize your interviewing skills. Sounds bad, but it's actually a good thing, because then you can improve. And then when you got an interview with Google and Amazon and Twitter and Facebook and everyone else, <laughs> you can be like, yo man, I know what I'm doing because I prepared with Pramp. Go check them out. I started using Pramp for data structures and algorithms, but they have all kinds of other topics. All right, now let's move on to the do while loop. You can see in the code we have from the previous video, we have a lot of repeating stuff. We have this guess the password twice. We scan the next line twice here and here. Like, why do we have all this extra code? Shouldn't we be able to condense this a little bit differently? Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to make a do while loop and it's just going to ask the person for the password at least once. And then if the person's right, it'll keep doing it. So the difference between a do while loop and a while loop is that the do while loop always executes at least once. A while loop doesn't have to. For example, if I run this code here and I get the password correct, let me in, it just jumps over the while loop altogether. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change this to a do while loop. And here's the structure. We're going to have do, and then we're going to have curly braces. And then after the curly braces, we're going to have while. I'm gonna structure it like this. And the condition goes here. So it's the same thing. We still have the initialization, the condition, and the update. Just the structure is a little bit different. So we're gonna cut this line here and put that in the do while loop because we're going to execute that at least once because we always wanna ask the person for a password. We'll define the password up before the loop just so it's always there for us. Oh, and another thing, after the while loop, you're going to want a semicolon. It's really easy to forget because when you do the normal while loop, you don't put a semicolon here, but when you do a do while loop, you need to put them at the end here. We're also gonna take the scanner, we're gonna move that to the top. Oh, Kava, gosh, you scared me. I don't know if you guys heard that, but my dog's freaking out now. <laughs> We're gonna move that to the top as well. All right, and then we're gonna move this guess to inside of the do because you know we're going to get a guess at least one time, but we're going to define it outside of the while loop. So we're gonna say string guess, and then we'll just assign a value to it inside of the do while loop. And the reason we're going to do that is so we can use it inside of the while here. Because if we define the variable inside of these curly braces, it's only going to exist inside of these curly braces. Definitely not what we want. Now this expression is going to stay the same, so I'm just going to cut that, paste that right here. And now these two lines, we no longer need those, so we can just get rid of this while loop altogether. All right, now let's run it, make sure it works. Guess the password. Now let's get it wrong. It keeps asking us. can't spell. And then once we finally get it right, it works. If, if we defined guess in here like this, well then inside of this while section, it's going to say that this is undefined. It's not able to resolve this identifier, meaning it doesn't exist. So you definitely need to define anything that you're going to use inside of the while piece outside of the do section. And then you don't redefine it in here. You just leave it as guess. Because when you say this, well, that's not going to work because we already have a guess in scope here, so it's saying, dude, you have a duplicate variable, we're not gonna let you run this thing. Some other programming languages would let you do this, it would just mask this variable, but it's not gonna do that in Java. You can't create a variable and mask a variable that already exists. So no redefining variables, guys. Keep it like that. So to go through this from beginning to end, we first set up the basics, what we're going to be using throughout this loop, which is the definition of what the password actually is, we create a scanner object, then we declare a guess variable, which we're going to assign to later. Inside of the do section, we ask the person for what we want, we get that value, and while that value is not equal to the password, we keep doing the do section. And then once you're done, it'll go down here and start printing this stuff down here. 
and then it'll close the scan.